Bumble. I just woke up. This next game is from Thunder Lotus. Serial. Award-winning studio behind Spirit Fair, who've gone back to their combat roots with an amazing co-op raid-focused action game that is uniquely theirs. All right, what? everybody, it's time. I was a Starfield. Oh, I did. They finally took a page out of fucking uh, PlayStation's book when it comes to presentations. It's not a decent. It does kind of look like it though. This is Hades at home. So, like, this game was designed and tailored for Soda Poppin. Uh. They made this game literally for only one person, it's Soda. I mean, true. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, I'm just kidding. Wait, is, is this a player? Yeah, is this. What is this? A MMO Wait, type shit? Player, or it's action it's RPG? Hold up. But it's also half of 66, which is 66. What does that have to do with anything? I'm getting chats and shit. Don't worry. 33 yeah, Immortals. Cool, this has potential. He's just saying that so chat doesn't shit on it. This has potential. Okay, so Pam just kicked in on PayPal. I just hit his trash. All right, guys. Oh, it's payday. Oh, yep. Cringe. All right. Just get it out. Nothing to guys, guys, I gotta go to school. I gotta go to school. All right, I'll see y'all later. What, payday? Wait, payday to me? Uh, not Everybody a, no, not a DLC, please. Chat, welfare check on Dizzy. I need some sort of heart attack watching this show now. This is already working on shaders. And the most optimal setting for the game. Alright, is it actually good or not? Well, you can't say anything yet. Oh, it looks like the movement's a lot better. That updated the graphics. See, I enjoyed the tactical portion of Payday way more than any of this. Payday is fun because, of his, uh, because it, it's intricate. But this, oh, I don't know. Uh, I never fixed my mic, did I? Are you going to sound is, fucking awful for a second? Really all the time, dude, but okay. There's a lot of there's and now it's fixed. But I think it, it's a good title for Tazer's Pog, but like world premiere. They had so much time to fix and make Payday 2 amazing, and it's kind of just trash. And I say that because nobody plays it, so they're poor. All right, I'm gonna go uh, pick the AC. <laughs> they just stole my joke, man. Oh, it's Persona. Oh my god, dude. That's a fucking weird bullshit again. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I fucking hate Persona so much, dude. Such dog shit move, uh, music, dog shit gameplay, dog shit story, dog shit graphics, dog shit characters, dog shit script, dog shit everything. Oh my fucking god. Get me out of here. I gotta close my damn door. I'm being so loud.
Persona P3 Reload, early 2024. 2024? Oh! Was one whole year ago. Play a game one with Game Pass. We're definitely not scamming you with dog shit games. Jesus fucking Christ. GTA? Assassin's Creed. Fix your internet, bucko. Chat. What if GTA has a massive sandbox? But it's not Assassin's Creed. And these are all games playable. Wait, Obsidian's making don't this? Like you very much, do they? Wait, hold up. This should actually be good, though. Wait, wait a second. Oh, it's still rendering it. To investigate some plague that seems to be corrupting our very souls. to trust you but the truth is Alice you scare us all right this is a lot bothered to gay chat I think um this year and last year we've seen a lot a big influx in first person magic spell casting game the secrets you keep you're either here to say I mean massive influx of it not entirely wrong. Or destroy us. And one, I'm not good with names. I thought the name was Forge. But now that you have all this power. There was two yesterday. What are you gonna do with it? Or the before is it? Slow from State Farm. I vowed. I thought I said Avo weed. That is um. That is uh. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. W, let's go. C of D two. I vowed hype. Now GTA wow cool. Gears is six. Ah, uh, they must be saying that because they saw uh, uh, Obsidian rare. How, about, how long has it been since we... Yeah, how... Oh my god. How long has it been? Please don't be Sea of Thieves. It's fucking Sea of Thieves. Oh my god. Such dog shit, man. Do people still play this fucking shit? Wait. Monkey Island. Oh, that... Okay. That's actually a good little crossover. These motherfuckers, dude. I never uploaded it to YouTube, my playthrough of that dog shit game. There's some good memes from that game, though. Holy shit. You mean Governor Guybrush, but Prefoot's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. No need to add to this game, man. Ten men mega ships. I told you no autographs. So I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush Threefoot. Chat. The legend of Monkey Island. Chat, imagine, imagine 40 men, ultra ships, with like coordination and rolls and shit, and in-game comms. That'd be sick as fuck. Well, well. I mean, Drew. Oh my god, that guy. That's a million dollar idea? Yeah. From the sea of thieves, you know. Wait, only a million now. Don't get me wrong. I love cool. Monkey Island. This isn't so much about But I hate it as a game. It is dog shit. I would not play it ever again. But the movie top one, we will play that. Trust. <laughs> Back in my days, these update games used to update for free. True. And they went no trailer. They would just update the game. 
It's crazy. Mm hmm. No dog shit overpriced DLC. Ooh, what is that? A fucking flight for Microsoft Ooh, Windows, bro. Sim. Wait, he's actually Wait, right. Like first responder sim. Ooh, that looks fucking sick. That can be an absolute mess. RTX. I can see all the bugs now. Oh, they're just updating. Um, the game do probably doesn't even sim. look this good yet. This is flight sim, like it. DLC, rescue DLC. Uh, is it what I just said it was? There ain't no way it is. Like it does look headed, way yeah. too good. Five headed. It's flight sim. I don't think that's boring. It'd be cool. It's so dog shit. Who the fuck plays flight sim, bro? I mean, that's cool. What the fuck is that? Buffaloes, the sky is calling. Microsoft Plus Unit 2020. I called it. Oh, cool. oh my oh, god, man. bro. It's gonna be the yeah, same damn cool. game. Yeah, a lot of new concepts compared to the other iterations of the mm. old, like, the old patches or updates. Dude! Dune! Dune! I mean, Dune! Ah. Uh... Wait, why did the fuck did they debate us? Why did they debate us like that? New ways to break your GPU, Pog. I love that helicopter plane bullshit. The dragonfly? I love that. I've never watched Doom. I need to. Oh, is that? Because I'm planning on playing the game. It's like a, a collab playing for the game. They do it all the time. All right, cool. It's a Dune Plus Commander collab, and they give you like a plane with it, like um. World premiere? Oh fuck. Hi, Hi. Here, speaking to you from our performance capture stage at Ninja Theory, where we have just wrapped our shoots for Senua Saga Hellblade 2. When we first showed gameplay, that is the girl. It was a look at some of the game's cinematic and immersive action, where Senua faced off against a gigantic troll on the Icelandic coastline. Nope, don't care. Today, we're taking you deeper into Senua's story. A personal quest, a unique perspective on the world, and the intimate journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. What you'll see today is all captured by the team on Xbox Series X. Okay, I believe it. Let's see it. Ninja Theory. <sighs> Slipping through her soul, following the threats of her mind. Left side. She's here to find them. The left side. Sorry. To hide. She needs their help with a promise. A question. The right side. But it's never so simple. I fucking hate it when games do that. Wisdom has a price. Get out of my head, man. Yeah, my ear. There's always a part of you that changes. A part of you that darkens. It seems like some viking That dies. Over there. That pool. It's having a little bit of problems with the. Um...
It looks like the same game, is that better graphics? Yep. So happens when you take too much fucking Nike will. Oh, this fucking guy. Where are they? Where are you? What do they want? Those skinheads are stupid. Their eyes everywhere. You can feel mm. them boring it. What is it supposed to do? Do something. Ask them. What do you this want? Is, no, this is what happens when you scroll too far down the Steam recommended. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? You were lost. Not anymore. Good. Are you ready for what you will find here? What we will find? What if it's all for nothing? It is all for nothing. Don't get it twisted, homie. What is some Jesse Floridian gas station a weed type beat? Yeah, fucking shower and shit, man. Gushers! I think initially this game was very um, innovating. For like and sort of pog. But now it's like, like eh. That's what I think. Yo, 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 this is like some AD audio type shit, man. I hate the audio. And then the address psychosis? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> what the fuck? DJ6. But you accuse her. Oh, I forgot. They changed the name. Way of the Dragon. Don't get it twisted. What hey, the fuck? Yo, yo! It is Way of the Dragon. I'm pretty sure. What the fuck? You can use the shell. What's scary about that? Jesus, Jesus, what the fuck? How can you get pull your titties out? It's all natural. You pull your cock out, but it loses their minds. What the fuck is wrong with that? I mean, neither is natural, my guy. Like a dragon. Like a dragon? My bad. Well, but what the fuck am I reading? Chat, what the fuck was that? Is this a dating simulator? Is that like a... When I... Dude. No! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not a 76 DLC, bro. Okay. 
They're all turned off. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. I forget people still play this shit. It's on my finger. No thanks. Um, no thanks. <laughs> Whoa, come here! We good on that. Dark Souls. What the fuck? Oh, it's Capcom. Cover your screen. Capcom. Gotta cover your screen. Capcom will take it. They will take your shit, bro. Yes, what the fuck is this? Curse Legend of Zelda? Nayo? What? What? I when the characters are wearing masks a lot, because it saves a ton of money on the production for um, special animations, animations and shit like that. It's like a, a crazy production production cut. Not wrong. Um, this looks interesting, yeah, it's but it's not for me. Major. Ain't for me. Ain't for me. That's all I got to say. And every time, yeah, but I had to get chat about stuff like that. That is interesting. Are just like top down third person? What? Oh, dude, the gummies are stuck to my teeth now. This is like, what? This is. Path of the Goddess. Okay, is it a big booty goddess though? Holy, I lost, man. Ah! Oh! I actually like collaborative, like small party multiplayer games, uh, kind of like that. I, I think it's kind of it can be cool. Just depends on the execution of it. He says that because he has friends. Most of you motherfuckers don't have friends. Replayability. General Motors' historic commitment to performance. Grand Turismo, sixty hundred thousand million. Chevrolet. And Cadillac. Yeah, it is fucking. <laughs> it's probably fucking some fours of dumb shit, bro. Cadillac's competitive spirit to a whole new level with its thunderous V8 and hybrid power. The legendary Corvette has been a celebrated champion for decades. The all-new Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray continues that tradition. The e cars, cars! Whoa! Whoa! I, I thought it was a thing, right? Innovators behind the new Forza Motorsport. Well, it is Forza, I called it. I think I'm getting ads. I'm getting ads! 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 I can't see! Ads! Ads! I have seen all that ever was. Oh. And all that ever will be. What is that? What is this never winter? Ellis rolls up. And courage. I am the one who 
it is. Arm vine? Oh, Necrum. What does she think about this, you think? Uh? Skyrim 2, this guy said. This guy said Skyrim 2. Or perhaps the first time in my unending existence, I <laughs> that never went to. Disconnected. Poor guy. Look how nice it is. Ew! What the fuck? And then he chews on it, this fucking guy. I mean... Elder Scrolls is one of the better MMOs out there, but it's so boring, man. Look at that, Magic. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna heal it. Look at that, dude. What is this clown doing? What? Ooh, that pimple's gonna pop. Oh, that's so satisfying. Popping a pimple in the mirror or some bullshit. Ah, oh, that's too good, bro. Is it DLC? As we online, Necron DLC. Shadow over Morrowind. Dream 20. <laughs> Cool that I like this game, but they are. Oh my god, Toronto was under attack. Ain't nobody Toronto. buying this. Shit. <laughs> There's something different about no sector this time. They've taken over most of the city and they're rounding up Omnix. They need our help. Are they actually giving us the, the, the PVE? What? PVE? And we have so much to teach them. Huh? Wait, there's no way it was still in the Wait, what? in the thing, and then they're like, "Uh, we forgot to take it out." There's no way, right? That it was in the set schedule. Wait. Uh oh. What? I hate to interrupt the moment, but I'm picking up reports of more attacks in other cities. It's a fight. Wait, I'm gonna use that. I say let's give it to him. Flash point game mode. Time to create peace with Oh yeah, this is what they yeah, it's man, garbage. Wait, 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 what? That's garbage. It's They just debated us with all the PvE like Cutscenes that they had. Huh. Wait, August then at work. June, July. Shall we do this together? June, July, August? It's in two months, but, buddy. Because if today's the 11th, here you go July, August. <laughs> say it, say it. Oh my god, bro. I'm so done with this anime weeb chibi shit. Uh, and Persona. How many games is Persona gonna make before they stop, bro? So you're telling me you're thieves who steal hearts, and you just happen to stumble into this world? The Rebel Corps will always help. Oh my goodness. I'm so disappointed. With what our world has become. <laughs> what is that? Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. And not only that, it's in one of the worst game formats ever. Like XCOM. Oh my god, that shit's so boring. It does look like a 3DS game.
They're gonna announce it for uh, Xbox Game Pass okay, and mobile. What's the name about this? Take my money. But this is the hold up. Oh, a Starfield. Starfield. Humanity has always. Wait, no, it's not Starfield. Where is it? The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast. I see what they did there. But that we have measured it. I mean, I have no hope or expectations from this game, man. I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not even gonna buy it, bro. I think uh, the world will be too big, and it'll start falling off, man. That's Minus what I think. Twenty-five years. Um... We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. Like the first three planets will be good, and then everything after that will be absolute dog shit. Nothing. This is Starfield, Ooh, right? Good, yeah. Jurassic Park? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. Well, they should have enough NPCs because they took them all out of Fallout 76 for we this, so. understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Yeah, first of all, it looks good. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah. If it didn't look good, it would be like, uh, run the boat, guys. Saturn! These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great the cubes. secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy Rocks. could be at risk. Oh, already has a bit of frame rate and whatnot. This is a big improvement for sure. <laughs> we this is a massive improvement, sir. Whatever lies at the end of this road. People were shitting on the frame rate for like the last one, but it was just like a showcase. Forever. It wasn't even near being done, right? So I don't see what like what the big problem yeah, show's was. More, show's more. This is where we belong. Show us more, bruh! September Wait, 6th? Wait, that early? Uh-oh. Oh, they, they're actually gonna show it a live direct massive. Play with day one game pass. You know what, dude? No thanks. I'm gonna be good on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good on that. Oh! World premiere! Oh, oh shit! Hold up, hold up. GTA 6. Don't lag it. Go to the wild. Wait. It's rock climbers. Oh, that's so cute. That is ugly as fuck. Actually, it's not bad. It's just an ass, yeah. Is that a banana? Oh. I was saying that because of the like dog shit like the textures and shit. Though. But the game it has dog shit textures, but it has it really has really good textures at the same time. It's weird. It's like Firewatch. I don't like the guy's Even face. His art style? I think his art style is okay. What he said. I think it's a bit overdone, but. If it's done right, it's good. If it's done, I mean, there are some eh, it's like, eh. That some devs put in his art style that makes it unique. But if, if they go cookie cutter and they just do this art style all the time, it, it's very overdone, but. I 
this looks like a cute game. This looks like Tom Radar, the video game. Too much climbing and I shit for like me. I, I can see myself getting tired if it's a lot of like repetitive climbing, a little bit like um, Uncharted 4. By the end of it, I, kinda, I was getting a bit tired of the climbing part of it. Jacent. Jacent. Another one! The premier dude is insane, dude. I'm not being negative. I, I roll. I'm being negative. I, 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 I give it some positive and some negative. Some Secret, Secret Modi. Modi. The Chinese China. room. Huh. I've never heard of them. Pretty music. Oil rig. It is oil rig. I, I like oil rigs. Wait, is that? This is rust. It's like between two souls or whatever, no? Yo, this looks gonna chill. Still wakes the deep. Bro, this looks really good, actually. Give us more than that, Buster. What is this shit? It looks interesting. So I got to say, I'm gonna subscribe to Game Pass for the rest of my life. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, all right, chat. All right, chat. This is your official pee break. Eh? Bathroom break for everybody, chat. He's not wrong. Now, if this was a uh, what I no, it's Supercut 2.0. What? What the yep. fuck is that run, man? That's balloons. Yeah, get the that, fuck out while you can. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Who the fuck runs like that? <laughs> Available now on your PSP chat. Get ready for it. I don't know. Is it third person? Is it first person? <laughs> is, what, what is this? Sorry. This art style, I fucking hate it. So I'm being negative today. I'm sorry, dude. I had a rough, rough night, dude. Hi. Oh no. I'm very excited to be returning as Johnny Silverhand in the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. Why is this so uncanny? Phantom Liberty. This new adventure reunites Johnny and V on a dangerous oh, this, yeah, yeah. and introduces Idris Elba as secret agent Solomon Reed. It's really amazing to share the screen with you, Idris. It's cool to be a part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, you'll get to visit Dogtown, an unexplored part of Night City. Oh, the and clap. rescue the president of the new United States of America. Expect a massive expansion, twists, <laughs> secrets, and plenty of stuff to do. I know the team team this, uh, I'm just not hot for it anymore. Just keeps raising the bar and they're going to be Keanu the fanboys. Hi, the achievement. Games. I really can't wait for you to play it on Xbox Series X and S. I'm going to have to talking. pass on this I'm one, you Chief. For yourself. And so it is my honor and pleasure to give you and introduce the official trailer for Phantom Liberty. Check it out. <laughs> Jesus, okay, uh, I'll do that. Oh, what is his problem, bro? There's gotta be a way out of this. Johnny, I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. V. My name is Songbird. I'm an. It plays like burn from the pixel. I know about the bomb to get in your head, and I can save your life. What's the catch? I need you to get to Dogtown. Attention, all Dogtown residents. The president managed to crash her Space Force One into our humble district. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. Sleeper agents. 
Time to wake them up. So I think that guy. This is on um, August 12th. <laughs> Get Myers out of there. You probably saw that from chat. Her safety is the top priority. Shit! They catch us out here, we're dead. Wait, hear that? God almighty! It's moving! <laughs> Ooh, an elevator! I can't wait for his body to spawn in it again. You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. It's a charade, V. Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. The situation's changed. I need to know if you're with me. The illusion of freedom draws in the desperate. Pick your truth, V. Come on, got iron in your head. Got to put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. Two bonus famous actors. I mean, it's just like they're throwing all their money away to the actors, bro. Oh, it's on game. Hold up. That could also be a lie. Oh, oh. Every rose at its thorn. See, it's got lines. I think it actually might be. Familiar faces on <laughs> And it, it actually is. But is it City Skylines? And who's making it? City Skylines. Because guess what? I ain't playing that shit. Oh, that was a good UI. Is you playing this shit? Yeah. I'm playing this shit. It has better snapping for the fucking roads. Yo! They could have just updated their already made game. Easier way to make trains and whatnot. So the problem with the main game is that putting really fun stuff in the game it was really hard. Because of the, all the interaction between the, it was a big lot of problems with um, how to interact with one another. It was so annoying, so you end up never doing it. Yep, I don't make cities, but you can go ahead and you can make some West cities. Westside spreadsheet gang represent. Two, October twenty fourth. That's a little so while away. To actual pog, October twenty four. Well, I'm glad for everybody who wanted this, but... Sorry, these are like old... Old memes for this room, sorry. Oh, uh, roundabout right, city! PC. Uh, roundabout city, yeah. It's not, it's not a real gang, it's like spreadsheet, like the column, or whatever. It's just Another game. world premiere. Don't be an indie game. It's an indie what game. The world within today... Is there utopia? Uh, I wish every game would stop doing this like anime shit, bro. It's like 7 out of 10 games nowadays. And it's Chinese or Japanese, bro. Oh, that's where I click off. <laughs> Persona boys, I right, pack up. I speak for all of us when I say we good on that. Imagine needing subtitles. 
Metaphor. Is it wait, is that his name? Metaphor? Refantasio. Ah, oh, I know that. World oh! Oh! Pause. Let him cook. Another full premiere. There's a banner. Humanity's Ooh. cities have fallen. Our people's only means of survival. No, oh, in second thought. Mm, I'm good, bro. Belfry. You must explore this world to find the origins of this evil. Is it to the side scroller? Turn based action. Uh oh. And bring hope back to our people. I really hate when games like they make these like over the top trailers that like are oh, nothing good. like what the actual gameplay is like. It is a 2D side scroller. I knew it, bro. I Basic, mean, it, ba really it basically <laughs> is Castle Crashers. I've never played that. I need to. Well, no, it's not. I mean, it's pretty much the same format, yeah. Side scroller, like. Together, you can save humanity. Tower born. I was about to say tower bone. All right. I mean, it was a little better than what I thought, but it was that, it's still dog shit. Um, then I pass on that one, but I don't know yet. <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> okay, so if it's world premiere, it's dog shit. <laughs> is, that, is that it? Exile in Zile. Uh, the other, the other game, Bioshock. This city is a miracle of progress. A finely tuned, delicately balanced machine. It's like the other game that looks like it. Uh... I do not know how I feel about this. Dishonored, yeah. But it only takes one rebellious little gear to ruin everything. If you resist my rule, if you alter our past, it actually does look like Bioshock, though. There is nowhere in space or time where I will not destroy you. Okay. What the fuck? It's one of them gimmick games and it's like, uh Any last words before my friend puts one in your scalp? Lock, clockwork, revolution. revolution. Coming in due time. Oh, what's the thing about this? Uh, smart, smart. Looks nice, bruh. Huge W letter. Bioshock, bio clock. Okay, then. thank you all for joining us. No, today is a special day for me and the team. I'm excited to see 11 games showcased from our first party studios. Ooh. We opened with Fable from Playground Games. Yeah, bring the franchise into the modern era 
while staying true to its British style and humor. Okay. Compulsion and In Exile shared their first original experiences since joining Xbox with South of Midnight and Clockwork Revolution. But we look pretty mad. At how Avowed is shaping up for release next year from the art. Bit rate the video game at Obsidian. In addition to Avowed, our studios will deliver Hellblade 2, Ugh. an all new Microsoft Flight Simulator, Ugh. Powerborn, and more in 2024. Later this month, players can look forward to Elder Scrolls Online next uh, and Sea of Thieves Monkey Island. DLC As after DLC after Hellblade, DLC. We will launch Starfield and Forza Motorsport, both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. But we have one more we thing. We're also honored to share 14 games today from our creative partners, like Star Wars Outlaws from Ubisoft. Mass I'm excited about in that collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. It's gonna be good. The Immortals from Thunder Lotus. Unless it's not. Tsugami, Path of the Goddess from Capcom, and more Persona games coming to Game Pass. More Persona games. That <laughs> he said it all right there, buddy. I'd also like to congratulate the Studio Zero team on Metaphor Refantasio. It's great to be able to premiere what is next from to premiere what is next from the creators of Persona here in our showcase. I'm getting we ads, man. On yeah. First, we have significantly increased our supply of Xbox Series X, making it easier for fans to find globally. Second, we know Bullshit. we wanted more storage with Xbox Series S. And I'm excited to share. We have some news there as well. Okay, like what? Uh, more. The um the the beauty black thing or whatever the fuck it was. Oh my god, it's gonna be an HDD chip, bro. Yeah. You just plug it in. The USB port. What about SSD covering black? Yet? Right. I called it. Yeah. Yeah. And now for the one more thing you've all been waiting for. Here it is. Prepare for the most comprehensive deep dive we've ever done for the biggest game we've ever built. So sit tight and enjoy. Starfield Direct. Fuck you. That's the second time they've done it. Bruh. Who cares about oh, this, man? Oh, They're just bro. a bunch of Fallout Andes. Chat, I'm gonna say how it is, chat. I'm gonna fucking die before GTA 6. I'll never get to see it. Uh oh. Uh oh. We had a good run. Jesus, why do they fucking do this? Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining. Todd Howard. Welcome to. Bethesda Game Studios. You know, we've been so lucky over the decades oh, to make Todd, kind of games Todd, that we listen, love man. Here. And that's thanks to all of you from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout. We love creating these worlds and playing. I don't trust you anymore, Todd. As as now you give us and 10 the times the detail of being who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do. Bullshit. And that is Starfield. Obviously, we've come a long way since then with the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the <laughs> studio. At the end before so much together, showed up. But, well, we've never tried to make a game like this. Today, you'll get to hear from many on the team. He's so He's good so at much. talking <laughs> bullshit, bro. Game special. So let's jump in and take a look. What the fuck? How's he so good at talking? Starfield is our first new universe. In over 25 years, but it's that. still a Bethesda RPG through and through, where you step into a new good. world and you get that feeling 
of unlimited possibilities. It's laggy, chat, but... but this time, it's not just one world. It's over a thousand worlds. Because that was very empty and barren. It's not Optimization is later on, though. And it wasn't until now... Jurassic Park! ...we had the technology to create it. From the rocks at your feet, to the mountains in the distance, to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Our next generation lighting model uses real-time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. All right, that, that's a GPU bricker. <laughs> we also have an all new animation system. And of course, you can play it in third person. And you can play it in first person. Oof. We love exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this it game. It looks nice though. Scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources. Oh! Ooh, it's that one game. Even stumble upon something unexpected. No man's sky. I like that. Uh oh, combat. Oh, that aim, that aimbot, bro. You can tell they're using a controller. Thank you. Well, whoever did this this little thing, it things are being better than last year's uh, fucking player, dude. It's a massive difference. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. The combat feels a little bit like in your data menu that's stranding this like is the hub cookie cutter for everything but... you're doing from your skills to your ship your missions and your inventory we love to pack a ton of detail in every object from all of your weapons to spacesuits to food we just obsess over the details and food we obsess over food when you're done exploring you can walk back or fast travel to your ship we have companions and crew you can take with you I left Vosco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. And he can even say your name. Let's head out. Our mission was to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration. With Istavan. The romance of the golden age of early space flight. That was nice. And we've been referring to this approach as NASA Punk. This means a design language where the tech is advanced, yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast, that's where the visual interest is. Obviously the NASA, which is the rigid, hard, function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. You can see that visual style coming through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. Looks and really good, Jesus. Many of the spaces in our game, it looks it like an alien. slightly retro and analog touch. A bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. Like old school alien movie. Alrighty. What's the plan, Captain? Like I said. This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Backing out further, you can view all the planets. It tells you all the elements you get there Obviously, too. Obviously, the game is big. It's and nice. it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them. Versus the many planets that are barren, but resource heavy. Oh. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. It's too much, man. Here you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. It's this too much. This uses your ship's grab drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to oh. the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system where we can find the city of New Atlantis. Oh, New Atlantis. Didn't the they just have city. a DLC? Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. 
complete. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. GPU already broke on my screen now. As soon as you land in a city like New Atlantis, your Who's eyes this? are guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. It's the biggest city we've ever Who are you? Not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously Who are you? We try and tell as many Give us time, man. Fuck off. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzing if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. It's also where your adventure with Constellation begins. I don't care what these buzzers have to say, bro. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. By the time you meet, oh, they did a really a massive improvement with the, the facial animations. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true lead quest designer. All right. Well, if the quest suck in the game, you can blame that guy. Biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out. It looks nice. Spoke to you. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Oh my God! Look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the I just system. was praising the animation for some reason. You've got Sarah Morgan, oh. the ex soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Some of the non main characters look theologian who believes that there's always something else out there. That's true. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege, and Walter, a very successful businessman in the settled systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes Am I wrong? as long as we have the money. There's also Vlad, okay, the well. pirate, Sam Coe, the former space cowboy, and Barrett. Sam Coe. These pirates, completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. The journey you take with Constellation is just the first of many you'll embark on. Ah, uh, you know, I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. I cursed us. People and adventures for you to uncover. It is Jurassic Park. Well, I just hope that the game doesn't feel empty. I'm telling you, the game will feel empty. Often enough, these games feel the very United empty, Colonies but I hope they do good with it. Where you'll find New Atlantis, the first major human settlement in space. The people who live here value law, discipline, and the legacy of humanity. They consider themselves the true children of Earth. So you don't think of joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies, even get your UC citizenship? New Atlantis isn't the only city within the United Colonies. The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility Lights for of the United Colonies. Nope. Ain't for me, ka. Beyond the United Colonies reach, you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. This Doesn't is look a bad. star collective space. The capital of the Free Star Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. Well, I like this. Is it the they classic the three factions? And intuition to do what's best for the people. Ooh. Neon started out as a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the cell systems as a pleasure city where almost anything goes. If you've got morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. These facial animations, man. Reunion is hiring the best Yo. and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. We get massive technology and chewed up and ground up by Neon. This is the Try best thing we get. get yourself killed, all right? Outside oh. the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore. But these areas are also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. The snakes, sir. The great serpent hungers. All humans shall be made dust in time. Wait, it, it actually is the snake. A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. Oh, the psychos. 
they think the galaxy is theirs they are wrong are these the the woke people crimson fleet it always has yeah these are the bandits that in starfield we're pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before it's all there waiting for you a slice of humanity's future please don't make us build so, we thought we wanted building we don't want building throughout the galaxy there are so many things to see and stories to experience but the most important story is the one that you tell i'm the type of person who spends hours in character creation and i think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made hours the biggest overhauls was done through our character generation system we scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities and by mixing and matching all that data we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters we use that exact system to create all the characters and NPCs you're going to see in the game. So any character you see almost always is a character you could make yourself. Oh, what about face hey, scanner? Come on. come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> you know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to offer than I'm ever zesty. before. It's also the simplest character generation system we've ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to make whatever they want. With the various facial morphs you can blend together, the dermesthetic and makeup, blemishes, bro, scars, is this piercings, Shrain's beard? Settings. It's a lot. It actually it's is, bro. Use. That is... Look how patchy it is. Holy is fuck. More than just how you look. This is also where you start to decide who you want to be. That's where backgrounds come in. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. Okay. From chef to Dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about backgrounds is you never know when yours is going to come in handy. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant talking to some guy and suddenly you learn he needs a beast hunter to help track down a monster. Fine. I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further. Oh, the, the facials, traits. man. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. By Victana, by Victana, by Is it really, really you? This a fucking crew. guy, bro. If you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near you. Breathing the same air. I've got to have every molecule. My favorite trait is kid stuff. You have to pay some uh, credits to support your parents. That's a good. That's a good meme really throwback, though. Them. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. It'd be funny if they oh gave him the exact same like voice lines and they just kept it in there. Chatty nice. That made me the same religion nice. As them, I was able to get by without any issues. There's another great one that but gives I mean, you a shit. Buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. No matter what you choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. And if you want to remove a trait, there are ways to do that too. What a view! It's a feast for the eyes! Off we go! To another adventure! We'll let you discover that on your own. They're playing into the meme, bro. Damn. I like that. Once you've built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. We get no shit. We about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill system. Tim Lammy. Each time you level up, you get a skill point which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. Ranks are unlocked by completing challenges associated with that skill. 
Oh, that's cringe. Ah. Challenges become increasingly difficult as you work your way to higher ranks. With our five different skill trees and four ranks per skill, there's a lot to choose from. I like the Xeno sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. Well, that's not chill. That was a pet then. Boost pack out of the gate. I'm boost packing everywhere. I like maxing out Ooh, my physical that tree so I can get a no strikes and just punch my way through combat. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a healthy mustache. Like suit your play style. I'm very much a stealth player, so I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. Same. A favorite part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie, and then jumping out and springing on people. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. Is the area's off limits? Fine. I'll issue you an access card. I'm more of a run and gun player. Yes, sir. A death from above thing where I boost pack over guys and I throw them at them. Oh, no, no. What the fuck? That's a shotgun? This is like a fucking microwave, man. He didn't even hit like him. Gravitational boots like um, Jetpack Joyride and land Goomba Stomp. Exploration is a key aspect of all our games. In Starfield, there are full star systems with new life, resources, and adventures. That looks really good, though. Our team it's gonna be so bad, to man. But it's gonna be... Fun and realism. We study data the, is it the Outer Wilds, bro? Resources to help or Outer Worlds? Field. It might be Outer Worlds. That, that game, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. We're gonna in the space. To the way we placed biomes based on the planet's distance from the sun. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that world fun. When you leave a planet and head into space. Wait, we are in space. You'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. Oh no. It's all out there. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity. Because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, you never know what you'll find. Love. Oh god, dude. Yeah, it says this fucking guy. Space exploration is possible. Minus one car, minus ship. one house. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. Ooh. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. I like that a lot, actually. But you have to hire them. In spaceports. Damn! Look at this Jigga Chatter. Spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Nope. Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. Make it he he big, huge. And upgrade everything oh, you that's here. sick as fudge. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems, like your weapons or shields. Totals. Or you can deep dive and enter the ship builder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems I love to doing the that. layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. Huh? An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you want. 
The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can have weapons for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Okay. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control rooms. Hey, you know. Zinian's casino is inside of it. <laughs> Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. Almost. Today, one of my favorite ways of customizing ships Almost. is um, I make them look like animals. The HMS platypus, as I called it, where it had a, like a giant okay. tail to it. Well, that's cool, done lady. Spiders. We've done mechs. So it's Optimus Prime. Whatever your imagination is. That looks yeah, janky you know, as fuck. Cool among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Oh, you get a bunch of noobs in it. Like, um... Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Terraria. Engines ready. The Frontier is fueled and ready, Captain. Some of the members... I want the Space Cowboy. ...join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll Why is he talking like that? Until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. See, she she has like really good facial animations. So why is she the only one? Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little oh, extra help the ship, you can always Jesus, this guy's risen. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign crew to your ship or outposts, and their unique skills will affect how they run. And okay. just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. My Riz is unspoken. Around the no, I guess basics so. of a NASA machine. Please. Avoid getting shot. You might die. I still want to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Okay, Using that's fair. The ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield. I saw I got money to build and captain the ship of your dreams. Okay, can we quit talking about the ship, man? And now, let's take to the sky. You're gonna spend like one long ass time building it up, customizing it, and then you'll never do it again until you like upgrade one part of your ship. That's just how it's gonna be. And then overall, it's not gonna matter at all. We're putting you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Space flight should be exciting and dangerous. And you should feel True. like you're in complete control every step of the way. You know, I like We've it. High risk gameplay. To ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers. You make a mistake, you break the ship, and you're, you're completely fucked up. It's a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Boosting power to your engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the grav drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. Oh no, I am always alone, just me. Kidding, the classic back and forth fucking gameplay, man. Specific subsystems of the ship you target. Oh, auto aim for uh, wins the name. Hey, 
Aimbot? Oh, okay, they they give you critting. An enemy ship. You can loot the remains from your cockpit. You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. But you can also take a more personal approach. That's kind of sick, actually. And boarding their ship. Oh, I like Marauders. that. Marauders. And now we take their ship for hours. Yup. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. Marauders? But space is way more than fighting for your life. Just like when you're planet side, there are plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure. For like these seven massive years. star yards. Walk the halls, talk to the crew, maybe get talked into buying a whole new new ship. No, my star yard. Not ads. <sighs> Not fucking ads, man. It's fucking ads. I can't see anything. Fourteen ads. Nope. If it was multiplayer, they would say it already. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. There won't be multiplayer, most likely. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm gonna board because ships. Because multiplayer has a lot of facets to it. Steal all the sandwiches. And you would have seen one of them at least so far. You know, in my cargo hold that I have specifically for sandwiches. I don't want to play the hero, um, but I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. Some strangers might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. All right, ads, get out of here. You're making my audio pop. Some of the best moments are the ones you discover on your own. The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, but that's aliens. interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Then, realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our handcrafted quests. And it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are over a thousand planets out there just waiting for you to visit. Yep. We want you to feel like explorer. explorers. Breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. And sometimes a little fear. Oh. We're giving you Whoa. a ton of toys and just setting you. Yeah, back. I'm getting I'm getting no man's sky promises uh, vibes, but I never know. Okay, let me wash my hands and then we'll jump. It's gonna be uh I don't know. everybody, we've shown you so much stuff, but we thought we'd just Take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail into our game worlds, and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. And for this game, oh, uh, this is, uh, okay. Here it is. Here's the scam. It is the constellation. A fucking scam. watch. Um, this is the watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental information. It connects to your. Phone. Oh, case what is that? that? With uh, Eastbun. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. Our attention to detail and the game totally translates. Is that to this. A... Inspired by the cases that the astronauts ah! used during the Apollo oh, era. So, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I got touched by my, by my wire. It's got the intricate locking mechanism, authentic heavy. Oh my comes god. With a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world in the Starfield universe. Hey, fucking oh, hey, watch. Take this. You'll find it very useful out there, and it even tells the time. We actually have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, and together we have created this custom limited edition Starfield Ooh, controller. Ooh, it awesome. is nice. It is now, you know, our favorite controller. We love this because it's oh, see-through triggers. Hold up. Your spaceship. And not only that, 
we've created the first ever custom headset with Xbox. Oh, we're good on that, though. We're good on that. This is a perfect pairing with that controller. All right. All right. I hate the multicolor nice. bullshit. That's like the fucking rainbows. I hate that. But um, it's not too big on the controller, so it's like it's susceptible. Property of constellation. All right. Chad, do not remind yourselves of the canvas bag incident. Oh God. What is the canvas bag incident? I'm glad you asked. Watch the fall of 76. In on YouTube. every one of our games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't yeah. just about okay. the game studio's world. But I'm going to ask the important question. Galaxy. Can we make our own so little Jurassic Park? Big with Starfield. If I can't, you I'm out. On a galactic level. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. Scanning a planet before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources oh. you can use for crafting, building, and customizing. I cannot wait to get my cool nuke cola. This whole system that we, we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself... 1,000 ammo. ...as the player explore. Our system builds the planet as the player approaches it. <laughs> and we stitch together block of terrain. After that, we have the system that adds interested locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter. Chat, apparently GDA is coming up, by the way. Plans to pick up. Chat, apparently GDA, GDA, GDA pulling up. To uh. add that touch of environmental storytelling that Bethesda is known for. Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far from here. If you could take care of them for on us, G, on G, F R, F R. So even if your Bet friend SD. were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. Best, though. The environment is very high quality and the props look very well made. And you'll never be looking at them. Oh, oh that's the a bullet sponge and D. Insane. Does it it doesn't seem like it's too, too bullet spongy. It's completely up to you how you want to interact with each planet. Whether you want to explore and see what you can find, like, oh, no. resources and be on your way. Or simply take in the views. Chain boy. <laughs> With the help of your scanner. With 100,000 GTA pogs in chat, they'll release really it apparently. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying a whole system. When we were concepting these creatures, we really wanted to think of them as natural to the environment. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. Something you've never seen before. These creatures, man. They're a little weird. What is that? When it comes to our exteriors, when the sun moves, all that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. Okay. This should be like fire. Yeah, I mean, reflections are super demanding. Volumetric, dynamic lighting, GTX, RTX, double double, super duper, quad 16,000 anti-isopic filter juicer. Like, yeah, they'll shit will break your PC, bro. Bro, I, I'm telling you, man. This is gonna run like shit. <laughs> we'll be lucky to get 60 frames, man. <laughs> After some exploring, you can find a spot to set up a base camp. 
outposts can be built almost anywhere on any planet. Oh no. And the habitat modules come in all shapes and sizes. Oh no. Purposes. You can even live in them. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. Hi, so Something cool we have this time is we so have a fly cam where you can toggle between on foot building or you can now use a top down isometric camera, which helps plan out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. So that way you can really plan your structures and what the overall feel of your outpost is. And then when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and fine tune things much easier. So fun. Ooh. What did I do, man? Oh, all right, my bad then. My, my, my bad then. Okay, is that it? Add crafting and research stations in your outpost to utilize any resources you find or already have. I mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sights and scopes. A what? Larger magazines. A selection of grips and barrels. Different ammunition like explosive rounds. Oh, hold up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a way to crash your game. You can also choose to go hands on with melee weapons. I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like what's fun for the player. Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. XQC is more dynamic, XQC the animations are more fluid. It just feels great. They're all controller Andy's though. Weapons in this game. <laughs> I want to say any other game we've done before. There's a lot of variety. Upgraded gear is just one of the many factors to pay attention to when engaging in combat. You may need to switch things up based on your environment. Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs are excellent for getting around. Cool. And for giving you an edge in combat. Sometimes you'll even feel Shit, like... There's a show going on at three? At three? That's an hour. Zero gravity environments pose a different challenge. Firing a ballistic Two weapon in zero G will actually user. push you backwards. Thank you for being the distraction I needed. Energy weapons, on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. We also have mag weapons. What's a mag? Powered electromagnetic induction ballistic arrays. Each barrel has its own targeting laser and can dish out some serious damage. Oh, this is a lot it's of bullets at once. Whether you want to get up close and personal with your own two fists, or you like more compact weapons like pistols and submachine guns, or maybe you prefer something bigger. Level 75. Starfield's got you covered. It's a good chat gameplay, I got it. I believe in Todd. Where's the crosshair? Any Todd believers? Did he just punched the dinosaur and it got stunned. Imagine taking years putting all this effort and promising all these features just to tell your boss it won't run on their system at the end of the project. Let's go talk. Under the man. It's just like um, almost all the other ones where you have to you have to run like a, a super big machine gun weapon type bullshit, and then like you whip it out whenever there's like a, a big ass enemy like um like a death claw from Fallout. What the hell? Oh, he's him. Thanks again for being with us today. We are just so grateful that you've taken the time 
and spent it here. I know there was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the game, even more than we could show you. <clears throat> you know, as we play it, we're always sharing these unique and special moments that only a game like this can bring. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people here. This game is a reflection yep. of the incredible and passionate team that made it. Why is not wearing his own watch? Them, putting something special of themselves into it. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. I love the way that our final combination the fuck of is this? Tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. 16 times I love the creatures, the, the exploration, every biome is different. The word that comes to mind... Chat, apparently GTA that's... 6 is happening. I like to use our photo mode to take From Twitter leaks so. photos. I just love that constant feel of discovery and wow I can't believe that there's more here. Alright, I'm I'm mixed back in GTA 6 then. Outpost building systems. My favorite part is every time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. It's gonna be the same goddamn boring shit. You spent all this time this building your ship of game and you where see if it it on on the landing pad. Would literally These things be are gigantic. The it's the kind of thing that you just can't get anywhere else. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Something about seeing a tower Pulse over jump. in the distance and going, I know the gravity's low here. I think I can make that jump. My favorite part is biomes, can we spaceships, the audio design, the planets, the day night No, we didn't. We, did. we watched it today. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Best yep. can't wait to play this game. I in love the robot so much. When it's the fixed incredible playable. amount of worlds we created. Sniper rifles, come on. Huh. Lever action. Rocket launcher, brain spray. Dude, this is chatting. This, this is all chatting. I laugh, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I know it's right, Ben. The thing that I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to be who you want to be, do what you want to do. I. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but yeah, on a much bigger scale. They will announce scale. GTA 6. Surely, surely anytime soon. Surely enough. Surely. On behalf of all of us, we can't wait for you to play Starfield and make your own special moments. What was that? Chat's coming up. Chat, brace. Will this run on my integrated graphics? No. Nine six twenty three. Nine six. That's two months away, bro. So a little bit less than three months. Wait, no. It's three. I'm buying for the watch. <laughs> this one, yeah. All right. I think Fable could have potential. I think. Um, yeah. Obviously, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter game. Yes, sir. Listen. Uh, Starfield could have potential, but yeah, I think that's all that I'm like really hot for me personally.